Degrees of unsaturation. What does that mean? An alkane is a carbon compound that has only single bonds. Their chemical formula follows the pattern CnH2n plus 2, where n is the number of carbons. Here I drew our good friend cyclohexane. You can apply the pattern or just double the number of carbons and add 2. Moving on, an alkene is a carbon compound that has a double bond in it. Their chemical formulas follow the pattern CnH2n. Do you see the difference? Alkenes do not have plus 2 in their pattern. This is what will define the term degree of unsaturation. Every hydrogen, every two hydrogen that are missing will equal one degree of unsaturation. This means that every time you calculate this number, you are comparing your alkene to its alkane brother. How does that feel, pentene? There are two ways to do this, and I'll show you those two ways here. Well, there's multiple ways to do this. Technique one, you'll memorize a bunch of rules, manipulate the formula, they compare it to its alkane. In technique two, you're going to learn a simple formula. 2n plus 2, it's nothing new, minus the number of hydrogens, minus your halogens, plus nitrogen over 2. Examples. Here I applied the formula for C4H6ClN. You see 2n plus 2 minus H minus halogens plus n over 2. You just plug in your n for your number of carbons and chug it out. Plug and chug. Here's how to do it with technique 1 and some rules. You take your formula, then. Now in short, you can turn all of your halogens into a hydrogen in the formula, and then subtract the number of nitrogens from that number of hydrogens. If you have an oxygen, just ignore it. Dealing with your hydrogens, you cleave off, well I mean dealing with your nitrogens. You cleave off the nitrogen and remove one hydrogen with it. Nitrogens have a hydrogen attached to them, they make three bonds, yada yada yada. So here you see this chlorine turned into a hydrogen, and then this nitrogen left and took its buddy with it. So when you have your process formula, you compare it to the alkene. In this case, twice the number of carbons plus 2 give you 10 hydrogen, and this is a difference of 4. So that's 2 degrees. You can see how I did the math here in red. Also notable, double bonds are plus 1 degree, rings are plus one degree, and triple bonds are plus two degrees. When you're practicing your own problems, you'll probably come across that as well. And here's what, here's another one. You know you already have 10 because of the C4. We did that above. And here's how to do it both ways. Here are my notes on that. You turn this halogen into hydrogen, and there's two, so that gives you the C4H8. When you compare it to the C4, you know you have 10. The difference is two carbons, which is one degree of unsaturation. Or you can just plug N into the formula and chug it out. You'll also get one degree. Here are some problems. Calculate the degree of unsaturation in each of the following formulas, then draw as many structures as you can for each. We're not drawing structures. We're just f focused on the degrees here. So C4H8. You have a total of 10 in your alkane, which gives you a difference of 2 hydrogen, which is 1 degree. In B, same thing. You have a total of 10. And this problem is really a no-brainer. There are only H's, so you can just compare each one to its alkane. And remember that the total is 2n plus 2, where n is the number of carbons. So A and B are a total of 10 hydrogens, carbon, well, 10 H's is a total of 8 in the alkane version. Remember that two hydrogens are 1 degree, and there is how to do them for A, B, and C. Problem 7.2, and here we have some serious business. Calculate the degree of unsaturation in the following formulas. Well, in A, you can see what I did here is you cleave this nitrogen and take that hydrogen with it. I use both techniques so you can see how you do it. For simple chemical formulas, the first technique is fast, but when you get into long, complicated ones, the mathy way might work better. So there's how to do it. When you cleave that nitrogen, take the hydrogen with it. That gives you the C6H4. Compare it to its alkane. You get a difference of 10, which is 5 degrees. 
or you can just plug it into the formula, which I typed out here because my pen was all weird when I got down here. Uh, 14 minus 5 minus 0 plus 1, 0 because you don't have any, whoa, don't have any halogens in this formula. Then divide it by 2, and that gives you 5 degrees of unsaturation. In B, you have a C6, so it's very similar. And here we have what is essentially the same problem. There are no halogens and one nitrogen. In the second technique, just apply the formula. In the first technique, compare what's given to its alkane. Remember to dismiss the nitrogen and the H it wrote in on. The oxygen you completely ignore. And don't feel bad, he prefers it that way. There you can see the math on how to do it in the formula. Just plug in the N, chug away. In C. Here in technique one, remember that you turn the halogens into hydrogens, just like magic. And in technique two, you use your formula. So here are your chlorines. They're going to turn into hydrogen. In your alkane, you have a total of 18, which gives you a difference between 18 and 12 of 6. Every two hydrogen is 1 degree, so that gives you 3 degrees. And then here, you just plug in your N, chug it out, gives you your 3 degrees. So that's your 2N plus 2 minus your hydrogens and halogens, then you add back in your nitrogens. Divide that by 2, and you have your 3. In D, C9H16Br2, you can see that this Br, and that's bromine, those aren't Brazilians. In there, C9H18, you do your difference from the alkane, which gives you a total of 1 degree. Here is the math on how to do that. 2 times 9 plus 2. There's your N. You have your 16 hydrogen. Hope I did that right. Yeah, 16 hydrogen. Minus 2 over 2. That minus 2 is your halogen. And there's no nitrogen, so you don't have to write the plus 0. That'd be kind of silly. Unless you like writing minus 0 and you have all that energy. You know, knock yourself out. In E here, we have nitrogen thrown into the mix. Cleave it and its foolish friend. Notice the subtraction in the second technique, because here we're dealing with a bit more. Um, and again, this nitrogen, whoops, where's my pen? Is going to come down. It's going to cleave off two hydrogens when it leaves. And you have your difference of 12 hydrogens, so that gives you 6 degrees. And here's the formula. You plug in your N, chug it out. I personally prefer the formula. Sometimes in the higher levels, it gets more. It's tricky, and it's just easier to use a formula, in my opinion. For F, in technique 1, add your halogen, cleave the N and his little buddy. In technique 2, you're going to do the same in the formula. This halogen, that's my pen, is going to come down and become a hydrogen, and then this nitrogen is going to leave, take its buddy with him, and you're left with the C20H32. So you can see almost intuitively that you're going to have a plus one minus one in here when you see this. So by now you should be able to tell degrees of saturation in your head. Huzzah! You've done it! So this concludes my videos on degrees of unsaturation. If you found this helpful, let me know by clicking the like button, subscribing to my channel, and as always, DFTBA.